How's it going everyone? The PlayStation Store is running its mid-year sale, a lot of great deals available, and here I am back once again to take a look at the best deals under the price of $10. A lot of good stuff, a lot of worthwhile stuff to pick up, so let's just get right into it. I believe I have about 15 deals to go over in this video, so let's just get right into it and let's start things off with a great narrative-driven title. We have AI The Somnium Files. It is down to $7.99. AI The Somnium Files is a really well-done visual novel, very much narrative-driven. It is a little bit higher end than a lot of other visual novels where the visuals are pretty nice and... The story is phenomenal, and you really do have a fantastic main character in Kaname Date. Uh, I just thought AI The Somnium Files was a fantastic ride from start to finish. If you're remotely into your narrative-driven experiences, this is one that I would highly, highly recommend, and for $7.99, I think it's a damn good pickup. And then I also do want to give a shout to Spike Chunsoft's other collection, Zero Escape the Nonary Games, a 70% off for $8.99. Zero Escape titles are also uh, very well-written and narrative-driven titles. However, these are a little bit dated at this point, so keep that in mind. If you're trying to get into the genre, I would recommend AI The Somnium Files. Like, I think that's like the best starting point, but... You know, Zero Escape is also a classic, and you get uh, the known area games here for $8.99. I think that's a pretty good pickup. Um, so yeah, check that out as well if you've already played AI The Somnium Falls. Obviously, they're not connected, and you don't need to play either one, but they're similar in the narrative-based storytelling style. Uh, that's why Chunsoft has published quite a lot of titles like this, so check both of those out. Next up, we have Borderlands The Handsome Collection, 75% off for $9.99. You got Borderlands 2 and all the DLC, and Borderlands the pre-sequel and all the DLC. I shouldn't say all the DLC, you are missing one small piece of content, um, but it's not a big deal. Uh, you get Borderlands 2, you get the bulk of the DLC, and you get pre-sequel and the bulk of the DLC. Uh, I believe with pre-sequel you actually get all of the DLC, but you get the idea. You get a lot of content for your money, let's put it that way. And Borderlands 2, in my opinion, is the absolute peak of Borderlands as a franchise. Borderlands 3 was not bad, I don't think it's a terrible game or anything like that, but Borderlands 2, I just thought found a sweet spot in the storytelling, the comedy, the gameplay, all of it was just at a very high level. Pre-sequel is more of the same, but hey, that's not a bad thing whatsoever, and it works pretty damn well. To get both titles with so much DLC content, so much replayability, for $9.99, it is a no-brainer. Next up, if you're looking for some fighting games, but you don't want to spend like the $30, $40 on MK1, you don't want to spend, uh, you know, hefty price points on your Tekkens of the world and whatnot, Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate Edition and Injustice 2 Legendary Edition Bundle is 90% off for $9.99. Look, I get that these are older fighting games, but to get both games with so much bonus content for $9.99... Guys, I think that's a damn, damn good deal. I'm not the biggest fighting game fan in the world, but if you're the kind of person that's like me and all you want is just a fighting game to play when you have some people over and you just want to go and have some fun with some fighting games casually, no problem picking up an older one. And I think MK11 and Injustice 2 in this bundle for $9.99 with so much content, a worthwhile pickup. And obviously Injustice has all of those iconic characters as well. So from that standpoint, I think people are going to enjoy it. $9.99, great pickup. And honestly, the Mortal Kombat characters at this stage of the game are fairly iconic as well. But, uh, yeah, that is an awesome bundle for all the content you're getting, and I would highly, highly recommend it, so definitely do check that out. Next up, we have Shadow of the Colossus, 50% off for $9.99. This was really Bluepoint Games' first true remake. They had done Uncharted, uh, the Nathan Drake collection, but that was more of a remastering collection. Shadow of the Colossus was a ground-up remake, and it was a game that actually... It was worthwhile to remake because SOTC, when it came out on the PS2, it was really, really ahead of its time. Like, the things that Team Eco uh, were able to do on the PS2 is quite marvelous when you look at the scale of some of the battles. SOTC has a tremendous atmosphere and is an incredibly engrossing game. Visually, this remake is absolutely stunning, and I thought... Bluepoint did a fantastic job with it for $9.99. I think this is a damn good pickup, and SOTC is one of those titles that I think most people would say, uh, you at least have to give it a shot. And, um, you know, if you look up the top 5, the top 10 PS2 games of all time, SOTC usually in the mix. Some people, I think, would even rank it number 1. Um, you know, there's a lot of competition in that area. You got titles like Metal Gear Solid 3, even Team Eco's other title in Eco. There are a lot of great titles in the PS2, to say the least. But, uh, yeah, 50% off for $9.99, SOTC. Great pickup there. Next up, we got South Park, The Fractured But Whole, 70% off for $8.99. 
I enjoyed South Park The Fractured But Whole, uh, not as much as Stick of Truth. I think Stick of Truth for me had the novelty of me just at the time not being too familiar with South Park, getting introduced to the world a lot when I played it back in 2013, it being hilarious, and it also being a well-made RPG with Fractured But Whole, that element of surprise was kind of eliminated because I already knew uh, that it was going to be a quality game, and it is a quality game, it's still got the quirkiness, it's still got the charm, and if you're a South Park fan, you're going to enjoy it even more than I did. For $8.99, a really good pickup here, so definitely check that out. Next up, we got My Hero 1's Justice 2, 75% off for $9.99. My Hero Academy season, I want to say 7 is airing right now, so why not give this a shout? This is the base game, the Ultimate Edition, unfortunately not on sale, but the base game for 999 is pretty good. If you're a My Hero fan, you're gonna enjoy this. That's really what these arena fighters come down to. Like, if you're a Jujutsu Kaisen fan, you're probably still gonna be able to find some enjoyment out of some that absolutely awful game in Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash, but... That's really who these games are targeted to. Uh, if you're a fan of My Hero, you're going to enjoy the characters. You're going to enjoy the presentation, how flashy the moves look. And the visuals are great, in my opinion. Um, I do like My Hero. I dropped off after the third season. I do plan on catching it back up with it. I also saw that they, I believe, revealed a new movie trailer and another movie is coming out. My Hero is quite the popular anime these days. Like, um, you know, if I was a youngster, My Hero would probably be the anime that uh, I would be really enjoying in my formative years. Naruto, from a timing standpoint, has that place in my heart, but My Hero I did quite enjoy. And I watched season one of My Hero as it was airing back in, I want to say it was 2016. It's just got to catch up on it and, um, you know, got to watch all of the newer stuff, so... Take that for what you will, but even I found a lot of enjoyment out of it. And when Once Justice 2 came out, when, when did it drop? I want to say it was 2020. I was pretty much caught up or mostly caught up with the anime at that point. So found enjoyment out of it from that regard. And uh, again, great visuals, flashy gameplay. Nothing to take too, too seriously. But if you're a fan, you'll enjoy it for 9 dollars Next up, one of the more underrated Assassin's Creed titles. We have Assassin's Creed Rogue Remastered, 70% off for $8.99. Uh, a game that's criminally underrated because it came out back in 2014, and that year, Ubisoft, for whatever reason, decided to do a gimmick where they released two Assassin's Creed games, one in uh, one on prior generation consoles at the time, so the PS3 360, the other being Unity, uh, being exclusive to the PS4 and Xbox One. Um, Rogue would ultimately get remastered onto PS4 and Xbox One and get ported to PC, and I would say that Rogue is a superior game to Unity, uh, you know, reflective of when they came out. I gotta go back and play Unity again because people talk up Unity so much, but AC Rogue has some great naval combat, a great main character, incredibly compelling, and one of the more underrated main characters in all of Assassin's Creed. For $8.99, I think this is a really, really good deal, and again, it's an Assassin's Creed title that I think a lot of people have missed out on. Do check it out if you haven't. Next up, we got Ghost Runner, 70% off for $8.99. This was a plus title a while ago, also available on Plus Extra. A bunch of these games are on Plus Extra, but Ghost Runner is a game that I enjoyed even though it damn near made me break my controller. This is a game that can be absolutely infuriating at times from the standpoint of, uh, you know, it's fairly challenging and base, uh, it's centered around its precision platforming and precision and timing. And, uh, you know, a second can cost you everything. But what it does really well is it gets you back into the gameplay very, very quickly. Very little loading screens or anything like that. You're just cycling in through the game uh, very quickly. And uh, even if you fail, you're right back in it. And it becomes a very addictive experience. Soundtrack's really good. Story's fairly decent for a game like this. Even if it's a little predictable, I think uh, it's fairly good. And uh, $8.99 for Ghost Runner. I would give it a shot. Just keep in mind, it might not be for everyone. And if you're uh, not in the mood for a game, that will infuriate you a little bit. I would stay away from Ghost Runner because it can certainly have that uh, element to it. Next up, we got Evil Within 1 and 2. Want to give a shout to both of these. Evil Within Digital Bundle is $7.49. That includes Evil Within and the DLC content. And then Evil Within 2 is $7.99 as well. I would play both games. RIP Tango Gameworks always support their games because they are a phenomenal development studio that unfortunately no longer with us because uh, Microsoft gotta be shutting them down even after they del uh, delivered banger game after banger game. Evil Within, I thought was a really solid atmospheric horror game. Narrative was pretty strong, and uh, again, I would play both titles. 
Uh, gameplay isn't anything revolutionary, standard third person uh, action title, but it's fairly good. And again, from the standpoint of what a horror game needs to do to be good, the atmosphere, the vibe, Evil Within really does nail that uh, to a T. And for $7.49, $7.99 a pop, not the cheapest these games have been, but pretty damn good nonetheless. Next up, quite possibly the best deal in the entire mid-year sale. Frostpunk the Complete Collection, you guys, is 85% off for $674. I get it that this is a game that's more suited for the PC audience, keyboard and mouse, everything like that. But you get Frostpunk and the Season Pass here with a bunch of DLC content. A tremendous, tremendous deal. A city-building survival title. Incredibly compelling from a tone and atmosphere standpoint. You gotta make some really, really, like, heart-wrenching decisions. And the decision-making in Frostpunk actually makes you think and, uh, you know, has some morality to it as well. Frostpunk is just a really, really well-done game, and they're working on a sequel, and I'm sure 11-Bit is gonna knock that out of the park. It's gonna drop on PC next month, and then I'm sure it'll come to PS5 and series sometime down the line. But 674 for the complete collection. Tremendous, tremendous deal. Even if this isn't the game that you would think would be entirely for you, I think from, like, an atmosphere and a tonality standpoint, it is so so well done give it a shot and this is such a cheap price that i gotta give it a mention Next up, Valkyrie Chronicles 4, 80% off for $9.99. Love Valkyrie Chronicles 4. You don't need to play any of the other Valkyrie Chronicles games uh, to play VC4. It runs concurrently with VC1, and it centers around a new cast of characters. Like, would playing VC1 help uh, to give you an idea of the world? Sure, but you can still thoroughly enjoy Valkyrie Chronicles 4. Great art style that is aged incredibly gracefully. Tactics-based gameplay is well done. And the characters, while I wouldn't say they have, like... A crazy amount of depth to it. They're likable, and it's a well-done narrative all in all. For $9.99, I think this is a good buy. And lastly, City Skylines Remastered, 75% off for $9.99. Another game that's more akin to PC, but City Skylines 2 has been an absolute train wreck, so why not check out City Skylines 1, which is a generally a really, really well-received city builder. Um, the game, you know, typical of Paradox with these styles of games, it has a ton of DLC content, so just be mindful of that. You can have an enjoyable experience with the base game, but then, yeah, obviously, you might be pushed towards buying the DLC, so just keep that in mind. But $9.99 for the remastered edition, pretty good, all things considered. But that is gonna do it for me. Again, a lot of great deals available as a part of the mid-year sale. All of these deals under $10. Links in the description box below. Hello, that's going to do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads. And we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.